Uh-huh. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Kicks and welcome back to Ukulele. When we last left off, I was in the Cave of Nightmares, but now we're back up above ground in the sunshine and we can let all the nightmares go. And I think we'll just mop up the last couple of pages that we can and then we'll try and move on to another world because this one's starting to feel like I've done most of it. Okay, I'm kind of intrigued by going up here. Um, I'm going up to see what, what's at the top of this because it looks pretty. But I've got a feeling that's like that's where the boss is and it'll be locked off to me. And it looks like it's a really long way. And I, I don't know. I mean, I could do it. I'm not really sure if it's if it's worth it. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like I have to go up there. Yeah, it's the thing. I'm doing it. I'm committing. We'll see. We'll see if it's if it's, if there's anything interesting. I'll let you know. A big locked door. Okay. Well, yep, that led to a whole lot of nowhere. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine if that led to a whole lot of nowhere. We're... Not everything's available at first, I, I get this. The world's got to be expanded, so there might be something I can do up there later. That might be where the boss lives. I'm assuming that's where the boss lives. I did notice there's something down here, under here. There's some, there's some quillage. There's a bit of quillage going on. And a little snowman. I didn't notice you. Yeah, mate. Yar. I wish somebody would find me missing that. All right, well, I can do that. Don't you worry, mate. And apparently, there's a lot of you about who are missing hats. I'm not quite sure where they are, but I'll, I'll find them, if I can. I'm not really sure where they Oh, I don't... I've not seen any hats. Um, I don't know whether they're sort of part of the expanded world or whether we can do them now. Because um, I've not seen anything of them, but I've, I've sort of accidentally run across... Ooh, whoop. Pagey, baby. Uh, I've not really sort of stumbled across. I've stumbled across the, the snowmen, but I've not sort of accidentally come across a hat, which I find a bit weird. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But never mind that. We got ourselves another little pagey. I'm not really sure whether I should check in the water for any secrets. Uh, nah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We're trying to get through this level quick instead of uh, hanging around and exploring every nook and cranny. Let's just let's just get through it. Right, I don't really know. I mean, it doesn't feel like there's a lot left to do in this level anymore. Um, it seems like a lot of this level sort of will open up by the time we get it all expanded. So, I think we might hop on over to... Um, I don't know whether to go back to Tribal Stack Tropics or to move on to the third world and just sort of keep keep gathering up moves. I think that's probably the better... That's probably the better option. So, yeah. Let's... Uh, Let's jump out of here. We'll, we'll come back when we've expanded it, and we'll see. We should have just expanded it. Many decisions later. Okay, change of plan. <laughs> I just remembered. There was that sort of blocked off little section, wasn't there, while we were up top, that I, I thought we couldn't get to, but now I know how to get to it. So we should probably check that out. It might be uh, the molecule, and we can check out this transformation for this level. I don't think it'll be a flower again, because it wouldn't do well in the ice. But you never know. So we uh We got a theory, let's put it into practice. Let's see what's what's going on. Oh, it's a bit of a oh, hang, on, hang on, first. Let's check if I still remember which one it is, because that grenade doesn't last for very long, so I think we do well. Okay, middle one. Uh, do you reckon I can make that jump? There's only one way to find out. Gotta 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 got Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I think we got to go the long way around, though. I've got to be really quick about this. Oh! Oh, I fluffed that, but I saved it. Also... <laughs> that was bad luck and good luck at the same time, right? Go, go, go! Yeah, Molly cool. Alright, Dr. Puzz. Here we come. I'm not jumping off there. That, was, that doesn't look safe. <laughs> Let's slowly descend sensibly <laughs> instead of just jumping off things that are really, really tall. I think we can sneak down here without too much damage. Yeah. All right, Dr. Puzz. What's going on? All right, Fishhead. Still in the science business? Oh, very much so. In fact, I've just made my final collaborations on the DNA and it's ready for transformation. 
That's a word. She makes up words too. <laughs> I also noticed it's DN Ray. I was saying DN DNA Ray in the last episode. What an idiot I am. All right, I can't read. Well, I established this early on. You can't, you can't hold me to it. With the latest modification, we will be able to teach that creep Dr. Quack and his new blah, 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 blah. Just make sure you press the correct button. The last transformation won't last long in this weather. Oh, I, I said the same thing. <laughs> And for this next transformation, I will need you to bring me this word, Molly Ah, thought head. We found your Molly Cool Duck. That's just how. That's just how good we are. Magnificent! And you're ready to start the transformation. Approach the DN and press A. Hold still, though. It might. You what? Well, it's not me and Jeff, do you? Yeah, let those game sprites take the take a beat. <laughs> what do I care? All right, what are we gonna be this time? Are you ready to transform? All right, let's see. Uh, oh, all right. Extraordinary! A snowplow. I wasn't expecting that. Neither was I. To accelerate, use L, and to boost, use X. All right. Also, would you mind clearing my drive? Uh, I would, in fact. Yes. Oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, it doesn't control like I thought it would. Oh, that's really... Oh, it accelerates no matter where you... You can't just turn. It, it always moves forward. That... That's not good. Oh, whoa. That sucks. Okay, what does the boost... It's gonna... No, the boost doesn't help. All right. Well, shit. What? Do I, okay, so the big piles of snow. Oh my god, I've got a platform. This, this, this might end a disaster. So there's big piles of snow, right? Uh, I've got to take it really, really carefully. Oh, and it should be all right. The big piles of snow. I reckon I can plow through. Through. Oh, I can turn. If I do it really slowly, I can turn without accelerating. Okay. Oh. Oh, the platforms aren't going to be good. I'll just wait for them to get really, really close. I'm not taking any risks. This, this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> alright, alright. We're good. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm going to give myself a bit of safety before I... Ah. Pants. Hey! Bring that here and I'll give you a massive hug. Um. All right. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I don't know whose whose hat that was, so it's going to be difficult giving the voices. Unless I get more of a clue than pants. <laughs> Anyone can wear pants on their head. Anyone. All right. Well, this might. I'd, I've got to go and find all these things. Um. All right. Well, let's do some. Let's do some exploring. Okay, I think I remember there being a pile of snow in these caves somewhere. I think. I'm not quite sure. I'm in the right door. Oh wait, no. No, it's there. We're, we're fine. We're on track. Gosh! Top work. Now be a gent and bring it back to me. I don't ever remember meeting the posh one, but hey, he's there. Alright, that's one down. Four to go. I think. Oh, oh, nearly. <laughs> oh, it's really hard to control. I, I, I know it doesn't look it, but if you played it, you'd understand. Oh, was that witch hat? Wh witch hat. My hat. I need to look slick, so bring it back here. Quick, quick, quick. All right, two down. You, oh, no, that's fine. It's not hard to fall. You sneaky little one hiding near the entrance. Is that a cowboy hat? Cowboy hat. Yeehaw! Reunite me with that hat, and I'll be one delighted cattle rustler. Three down. Oh, I don't like the look of this. I'm going to play this one really, really safe. I'm going to let this get all the way to the bottom. I'm not, I'm not jumping and falling. Because <laughs> it's way too treacherous. Being a truck, being a truck and all. Trucks aren't very good at platforming. Liz lizards fare way better than trucks. Get, get these eyes. God, I hate these eyes so much. <laughs> Although I should be careful they don't. My hatred doesn't drive me off a cliff trying to kill them. Let me be careful. Oh, I might regret it. Oh, I might 
regret this. Oh yeah, instant regret! Oh my god. Winner of the Jamie Bastard of the Year Award for that last minute jump. Oh, if in doubt, just panic and jump. Seems to work with this truck. Okay, what's that? Yar, that's me out. Bring it to me. All right, four, four, five? Five. Well, all right then. Now that that's done, I suppose all that's left to do is find all of those snowmen and deliver the hats. Problem is, I'm not quite sure where all of them are, so it might take a lot of running around, so you'll just catch me when I give them to them, I suppose. Okay, first one. Which, which, witchy, witchy snowman. I think, yeah, witch. Tee hee, thanks for finding my hat. Now I can continue my witchy chat. Oh, oh, meant to jump. <laughs> for more rhymes, I'm sure you're eager. Our dialogue budget is rather meagre. Okay. Numero one. All right. All right, Mr. Leaf. I think you okay. I gave you a cockney voice, didn't I? Hey! They'll finally let me back in public with this! <laughs> Numero two down! <laughs> ah, Numero three! Golly gosh, I'm proper again! My thanks, peculiar lizard! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> Numero three! <laughs> I really like doing the um, the posh the posh voices. I don't know what it is about those. They're just really really fun. <laughs> Not quite sure. I just have a good time doing it. Uh, ooh, yeah, a secret cave I didn't see before. I don't know why I missed that. That's pretty pretty obvious. Um, oh oh, I'm not sleepy. It's not one in here. I don't remember seeing five. At least I hope it is, because I've got no clue where he'd be otherwise. Oh, fingers crossed. Is it? Hey, cave snowman. And ghost. Nice. Double whammy. Oh, you can't be kidding me. Not ice and ghost. Not ice and moon. <laughs> That's just mean. Come on. All right. He has to taunt me as well. That's that. Of course he does. Yeah, we. Well, yeah, yeah, you're not so. You're not so tough, ghost. Laugh at me all you want. Uh, what have you got? Oh, there was a cowboy hat. You've got a whip. You might be. Or a lasso. A cowboy hat. All right. Yeehaw! I'm back on the wagon. Don't tell anyone, but I'm not really a cowboy. I just like to dress this way at weekends. Alright. <laughs> Numero... Numero four. <laughs> and I think last but not least, our little pir pirate friend. Yar, your pair of lovers made me day. Oily, shivery timbers is free to plague the seas once more. That is a brilliant name. <laughs> Hooray! That was the last missing item. Finally, our cabaret act can continue touring. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Snowman. Snowman. <sighs> village people. <laughs> Snowman village people. Okay, well. That's that done. I think that's pretty much all there is left to do in the world. Well, there might be the odd pagey hand around, but um, I think I'm going to skedaddle over to the next world because I think it's going to be a lot more interesting and there'll be more stuff to do. Whereas here, uh, not so much. Not so much left in the, without being expanded. So, And it's a bit fast and it, it's kind of hard to fill an episode. Uh, so we'll go and have a look. Okay, let's go and try and find ourselves the next world. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. All right, let's go. 
I'm not quite sure how to get there, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I did it once. I can do it again. Uh, there's a lot of rampy, rampy business going on. Uh, let's jump over you. Have a look around the corner. Nah, it's gated. All right. All right. Can I jump in here? No. All right. Worth a try. You never know. Okay. Have we got any honey? Any honey lying around? You know, just shout at the screen if you see any. Let me know. <laughs> I'll hear it. You might think I won't, but I will. It's fine. It's, you just got to scream really, really loud. <laughs> that's, that's all. The veins have got to be bulging in the side of your head, basically. Yeah, any less than that. Oh, there it is. I know, I heard you, see? I told you. I told you if you scream loud enough. If you thought the challenges so far were tough, wait until you see my outlook for Q4 of this game. Oh, it's just a pagey. Little capital B there in the middle. <laughs> I managed to catch it. I don't think I've heard him. Uh, I don't think I've heard him do that before. Ta a bit of taunting. I like a bit of taunting from the uh, the final boss of a game. It's nice. Right, world three. Where can you be? Where can you be, world three? I like that. That rhymes. That's nice. I like a bit of rhymage. Ooh, ooh. I didn't notice this pagey either. I think I can get that. Yeah, come here, come here, Pagey. Yeah. I won't say no. I won't look a gift page in the mouth. Mm. I'm not quite sure where to go now. <laughs> I think I've forgotten where the start of the level is. But that's fine. I'm sure we'll find it. Okay, look. I found it. See? I knew all along. <laughs> it wasn't. 15 minutes of searching the, the level randomly to find that. Nope. Nope. Straight away. As quick as that cut was. Honestly. <laughs> get a little icy flower and get some access. <laughs> Do after a bit of shooty shooty business. And there we go. I think we got access to the archives, as Trouser so nicely put it earlier on. And there we go. A lot of books. And I think we might just have World 3 lurking around in here. If memory serves. Ah, boy. How are we doing? Psst, over here. Hey, Chazza. What are you doing slumped in this shady corner? I've got another free maneuver for you. But this one needs to stay off the books, pal. This next move was taught to me by a whiz, <laughs> whiz, by a wise grandmaster. <laughs> whiz. Oh, look, it's hard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, that's Yuka. Wow, that sounds impressive. What is it? With this ancient buddy bubble technique, you can wield the powers of the ocean and walk underwater. Finally, something useful. How do we master these powers, worm boy? First, take a deep breath. Then, when underwater, push the R trigger to release your gulp as a piping hot water bubble. Ugh. Is there a more um, socially acceptable method for walking underwater, Trouser? Not for free, there isn't. Why don't you try out your new move in that aquarium over there? Well, well, all right then. Let's give it a little whirl, shall we? Uh, uh, how do I, how do I get in there? All right, okay. All right, I get you. I was just going the wrong way. That's all. It's fine. really need to walk anywhere, but is this just for practice or is there... Oh, no, there is a thing. Yeah! That'll come in handy. And there we go. The old Bond bookshelf. That'll get us where we need to go. 
to get out of the fish tank. You know, not the most sanitary of places. <laughs> even, even if the water's not green, I'm not trusting that water. Cheers, Trouser. That was that was that was useful, mate. Right, we're on our way. We're on a roll. Uh, oh, we gotta find it. <laughs> it's gotta. It's never gonna be easy to do these things. All right. And we got little little hooky things. We don't have the ability to hook onto just yet. That's fine. That's fine. We'll stick to what we know. We'll stick to the things we can do. Which I think, at this point, involves being in the water and it won't really let us do much else. Hmm. Yeah, little bubble power. Okay. Don't like the jellyfish. No. You stingy little... All right, all right. We're not going for, we're not going in for that. I'm not going in for any stinginess. Sheila, email that dinosaur and tell him we don't do arcades anymore. What do you mean he doesn't have internet? Oh, Rextro, little boy, <laughs> a little deafy boy. Ooh, Pagey. Uh, should I risk it? Should I risk it for a biscuit? Let's. All right. I probably can't do whatever it, it wants me to do anyway. Hello. Let's see. That's too easy. What's the catch? Stay back, you evil, ugly corporate minions! You never take me alive. Kung Fu kick. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> Oh dear. At least it didn't develop, develop Stockholm Syndrome. Alright, there we go. I'll put him down. I'll take it. Back off! I know origami! <laughs> Come on. There we go. You've not had the last from Crazy Kirko! Oh! It was Grand Kirko in pagey form. Oh, and I should have been talking way faster and swearing a whole lot more. <laughs> that man... That man has got some amazing word rate <laughs> going on. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm very, very sweary. If you want to know what he sounds like, he, there are there's a lot of episodes of him, I think, on YouTube. I think he did an episode of Great Game Grumps way back. And uh, I think he's appeared on a few other things as well. If you just search it, if you want to know what Grant Kirkhoff sounds like, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Can you guys get a move on? I have golf planned with an over corporate henchman. Sorry, buddy, we're not keeping your time. Our whole thing was getting to this bad boy. And guess what? We're not jumping in until the next episode. <laughs> if you liked this episode, please like it. If you really really liked it feel free to subscribe but i'm not gonna make it i won't twist your arm and i will see you in the next one same bad time same chameleon channel see you later guys <laughs>